tits. Uh, Subterranea. <laughs> I've only just finished the last level, and I'm confused and apprehensive as to what this level holds. And we started off in the tiniest room. Oh no, this must be the one with the hedonica stuff. There's some girl dancing on there. And we've already got the crystal. So it's either going to be a good time or a bad time. For real. She's like bald. Must be a thing in the future. Although, it's probably, if I'm honest, it's probably a thing now. Um. Look, it's Japanese Spider Man. I don't know you. Leave me alone. Okay. Yes. No, I remember this. I remember this strongly. Oh, and I can't go into attack mode, so I can't. There's a wall, there's a door behind him. It just looks like the one is there. It just looks like there's one over here, but there isn't. All right, so there's also an item in this room. There it is. Spell of armor. Oh yeah, I love that spell of armor. And I can't leave this one. Hmm. Oh. Fucking give me a chance. <laughs> Second I walked out the door, he's fucking shooting me. Wow, that was over quickly for him. Yeah, I think this is the level that I had a lot of hard time with. I think I... Is this place just a one big bar? And then a bunch of storerooms? Hello. Should I be behind it? You look like the guy from level one. Oh, you're gonna give me a skull. Thank you! <laughs> hey, I heard you were coming. Here's a skull. You may need it later. Find the gladiator arena. The only way out is in there. But you'll need the boss's permission to get in. And I doubt if he'll be pleased to see you. There's all sorts of stuff going on around there. So be careful. They'll kill you in the blink of an eye if they have to. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really impressed. Like, <laughs> one, I got the spell of armor. And two, it looks like I'm gonna get to fight some gladiators. Now, the spell of armor, is it crystal in the skull? Oh my god, we got it already! Oh, sorry. So now, like, the second that there's a fight, I can just be like... And, like, invincible. <laughs> Which means the combat in this level is going to be absolutely meaningless. Probably shouldn't have taken it straight away. <laughs> this guy is taking a fucking pounding. And look at that, it got it just as it just as I fucking gave out. Wow, okay. We've got the gladiator key too, which I don't know if that actually does anything, but we got it. Is there something else in there? Oh, there's an apple. Not that I'm gonna need it, I've got an invincibility spell. But I guess there's probably gonna be some insta-death thing in this, you know it. I'm waiting for it. We're all waiting for it. There's gonna be an insta-death. Something that, like, the spell of armor isn't gonna be able to stop. Alright, so we've got that guy, and we have a door. What do you know? The first door that I try is the right one. Oh. 
Toy key. Well, that doesn't go anywhere worth going to, so let's try this way. Oh my god. <laughs> Bring it on, where are you? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Fried mouse. Wow, we've got all the great, you know, 25, 55 delicacies. I think I can use some fried mouse to open that door. There must be something in this room over here. Except I can't get in there because of lasers. Ah. Oh shit, that ran off. That ran out. <laughs> well, there's nothing in here. I got a fried mouse though. Maybe if I put the toy key in the fried mouse. Wait a second. No. No, I don't want that. I want to enable this, just in case I ever need to use it again. Nope, I don't need to go through here. <laughs> Why even put, like, give me the spell of armor at the absolute start, and then, like, put me in combat? Like, these guys can't hope to win, because, like, I can just keep on bringing up invincibility. Gee, I hope there's some more fighting going on. My god, it must be some sort of mad scientist. Wearing a jumpsuit by the look of it. <laughs> okay. He looks... That is the weirdest... That is the weirdest person I've seen in the game. He looks like part fucking chimpanzee. Yes? Can I help you? Can I help you, hungry doctor? Do you want some food? Would you like a mouse? I can give you a mouse. I don't need that. B doesn't need that. Well, then I did enough for hungry doctor. You do look hungry. You look very hungry. Just saying. You look like it's literally like fucking clothes on a skeleton is how hungry you look. Alright, well there's no point. I can't talk to him, I haven't got any food. But I think if I give him Hedonica sandwich, which I think is definitely a part of this level, unlike the last one where I thought it was a part of. Why do they, like, why do that? They give me the spell of armor at the start so I can easily win this fucking fight. And then, <laughs> and then like, put a bunch of dudes in the game. Like, oh, I'm going to have a hard time getting these. Right, loaf of bread. Fried mouse. I see what we're going here. We're going to make a mouse sandwich. Honestly, this looks like a fucking Quake 2 enemy. He's got a gun. <laughs> nice try, but I'm back. Just had to refuel on my invincibility potions. Alright, well that was a piece of cake. Hello. Have you seen my dad? There was a bit of a scuffle and my dad was hurt. I I've been looking for him for ages. Please help me find him. Hmm. Any luck finding my dad? I still can't find him or, or anybody that has seen him. Which is like I'm a fried mouse. I'm really getting worried now. I think the toy key or something has some sort of relevance. There aren't any items in this room. So we found him. I think Edward earlier on, the guy who wouldn't speak to me. I don't know you. Leave me alone. That guy. He definitely has something to do with the kid. What he has to do with the kid? Your guess is as good as mine. 
but he has something to do with that kid. Okay, now we're on a completely different part of the map. A completely different locker room relayed. I do vaguely remember this level. Okay. Yeah, I remember this. Would you like some bread? <laughs> Bread's good for you, trust me. It's it's very good uh, for the, the stomach. Is there anything I can actually do for him? I mean, this is all very futuristic, but uh, actually, there was something back in that room back there. Actually, there's something back through here? Is this a door? No? It's because I'm going the wrong way. There's the door. <laughs> Mm hmm. All right. What we got here that's worth looking at? Hmm. Problem is the items when the, when the floor is kind of busy, the items don't just leap out. At you. Oh, there they are. Hedonica. Combine Hedonica sandwich. Now, is that good? Is that bad? Do I give it to this guy and fail the level? Will it help him? I don't know if I should give Hedonica to the sick father. The thing is, I can't remember Hedonica is supposed to be bad, as far as I can remember from playing the game. It's not exactly the easiest plot line to understand, so, um... Okay, what is this? Ah, hello. Power level too low. Great, so I need fucking batteries for this thing. So, if I... Okay, let's go back and see what happens if we give the Donica sandwich to the hungry man, because those two things make sense to me. Kind of. Right, so the kid's in that room. No reason to go and bother the kid. I think. Therefore, I am. Right, where is this guy? He's in the corner over here, isn't he? If we give him what he wants... Maybe he'll give us a battery. A Donica sandwich. What if we just... What if this kills him? <laughs> My favorite sandwich. Here, take this battery. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Did we need to poison him? Who? What? Oh, it doesn't matter. Everything will be all right. Just leave me alone. I can't seem to think clearly at the moment. So we poisoned him pretty much, didn't we? Like, we fucking poisoned the guy to get a bat trap of it. Couldn't we just give him in the bread? Just be like, well, so I know you're hungry and everything, man. Here's some bread. Did we have to fucking do that to him? Are we the bad guy? I know I keep asking that, but, you know, the, the line keeps on blaring. Are we good? Alright, what's next? Um, so we've got the battery. That's the wrong room. Again. Can I have it now then? Medipack. Now we give the Medipack to this guy. This guy will then do whatever he's gonna do. Heal, not die. One of the above. Isn't he like laying around in one of these rooms? There he is. 
You should have had the spell of armor, my friend. Thank you, miss. I'm starting to feel better already. Could I dare to ask one more favor from you? If you should happen to see my son on the travel, I can barely hear him. Could you give this map to him? We were separated when I was brought here. Oh, you want, me to, you want me to do something? Sorry, okay. My legs are still a bit wobbly, but I'm definitely getting better. So now we've got to find his son and give the map to his son. I mean, we're giving him a map because he can't follow us because of the limitations of the game. Which makes sense. A beautifully programmed game such as this can't, must have some limits eventually. So where's this little punk kid? Here is snotty little brat. Where's he got another mouse? Really? Lady, have you really found him? Oh, thank you. I'll be able to find him straight away with this map. I don't have much to give you to repay your kindness, but here is my favorite toy. Although I seem to have lost the key for it. He talks really he talks like an adult when he's supposed to be like, I don't know. Fucking I'd say at the at the oldest eight. Right, so we've got a fried mouse and a toy mouse. And um, now we've still got a toy mouse. Oh, look, a toy mouse. I don't really know what we're supposed to be doing with this. I'm guessing this is going to do have something to do with that laser field we found earlier on. The thing is, when they first explain it, when, that, when I first talked to the bartender at the start of the level, it was like, oh, there's going to be a lot of fighting in this one. You got to fight. This is the gladiator arena. And I was like, oh, shit, the gladiator arena. Damn, well, that means there must be a lot of gladiating going on. And then, like, fight two dudes. And that's it. <laughs> We've got nothing like that's it now. Okay, so... What is through here? This is Edward. And this is a locked door. I don't know you. Leave me alone. I guess we're gonna find his wife or something like that. We're gonna, you know, I don't really, I don't really know either. But I can't leave this alone. Okay, so we've got a door. Oh, it must be that way then. I keep thinking there's gonna be a fight because of that music. But like, it's not fight music, it's just like, oh, well, I don't even know what that is supposed to be. Right, so let's see it, let's see if it's this door. This is the problem, getting fucking locked. Okay, right, so we've got the mouse. I'm a bit confused, I don't know if this is actually gonna do anything. We just fucked up that kid's toy to get through a door. Guess I don't need it anymore. Hello there. Person I can't see. Thank God. I thought I was going to rot in here forever. I brought a team down here after receiving information about a sympathetic Elysian chemist who has developed the antidote to the drug that Carla have been infecting the water with. Unfortunately, somebody must have tipped them off because they were waiting for us. Anyway, we have to get the chemist out of his cell. I need you to go and see Edward at the entrance to this level. 
he will tell you what to do. Good luck, and thanks again. Why don't you do it? You're free now. You're a free man, you can go. Why do you need me? What am I here for? Moral support? Okay. Well, that was convenient. Ah, Oscar has told me about you. How the fuck did he tell you about me? We create a diversion. When the alarms sound, you will be able to get the doctor out. Be warned, though. There will still be a couple of guards in there that you will have to take care of. Good luck. Why can't you guys do this? Why did I turn up and suddenly become like the fucking point man on this suicide mission? You know what to do. Wait for the signal. Um. Tell you what. That's opened all the doors. But there's no one in this one. And there's no one in this one. Which only leaves this one. And that's another room. Okay, if I just gotta play a guessing game to find out when this go where this guy is. Okay, well these guys are getting like weaker and weaker. Okay, that's the exit. There doesn't seem to be anything of interest in here. But knowing my luck, that's probably going to be where I have to go. Secret door. Secret door that disables the lasers. Nothing else in here. I don't know, it's all just wild guesses. Who fucking knows? Well, there you go. <laughs> wow, what do you know? Well, hello there. Are you a friend of Oscar's? Edward said that they would try to get me out of this hellhole. I need to get to Edward so that he can get me up into Fabia. Here, you will need this card to be able to continue on your quest. Okay, well, you do whatever you gotta do. And I'll leave, shall I? Some kid, do you know what you've done? You can't begin to imagine how much time I've spent infiltrating the FFF, gaining their trust and confidence until I was in a position to help the Kala Knights. You ruined everything and cost me a great deal. Now I have nowhere to turn. The FFF now are aware of my deception. Even worse, the Kala are going to kill me, believing I've double crossed them. The only way to redeem myself is to lay your corpse at their feet. Prepare to die. What, are you going to fight me? Huh? Good luck. 
Oh, I have to fight? I really have, we really have to fight? This should have been like a really early level. This was really, really easy. Dude, you can't even hurt me. Nice try, though. <laughs> and there you have it. Level complete. Yeah.